Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to some Ark Extinction. Didn't we try to tame a gas bag today? And we have one right there behind us. So these things are kind of hard to trap and tame because they fly away if they get too much aggro. So I think what we're going to do, since we have one right here, and he is a level 152, is hopefully not get him aggroed. Oh, I don't want him aggroed by that. What are you doing? Oh, I forgot he has that bleed effect. Oh, dude, don't fly away. Oh, he's going back towards town. That's the way we need him to go. There we go. I want to drag him inside there so we, when we set up our trap, we don't have to worry about anything else aggroing him. Get rid of this stuff real quick. Take off, dude. It's my gas bag. I saw him first. So if we hit him with more than one trank, he'll try to fly away. But we can tag him with just one, and it'll kind of create a little bit of aggro for him. So let's go ahead. Right over here should be fine. I have some dino gates with us. And we should be able to set up a regular trap. Hopefully. I know he won't fit in if he's got air in him. So we have to have to not get him too worried. I mean, they are kind of small. Let's get a couple doors thrown on. And this should be enough. I don't think he can fit out through there. I mean, we can't even fit out through there. Let's go ahead and try to tag him. Come on, buddy. Oh, man. Ah, oh, dude, I'm stuck in him. <laughs> you coming? I know they lose aggro pretty quick, though. Kind of why I brought the Thyla. That way we can still shoot off of him. Oh, he's going to lose aggro, isn't he? Yep. Dude, these things are such a pain to tame. Oh, come on, man. I forgot. I can't fit out through those. I don't want those defenders to come over. They'll kind of ruin it, you know? I think what I could probably do this off of the cat, to be honest. Maybe I'll try that. I just don't want him to... Oh, man. Passive man. Come on, dude. Yep, there he goes flying. Boy, I tell you what. Oh, he's still coming at us. Hopefully those defenders stay there, and then there was one more over there. I didn't have any kibble to make for him, so we're going to have to do this with just vegetables, which should be fine. Might just take a little bit longer. Oh, dude, don't run. Tell you what, I might not even have to use a trap if he keeps running away from us. Just tag him and let it wait, you know? Yeah, there you go. You're almost over there, buddy. Come on. Definitely don't need a thigh lot. I thought he would run a lot faster than what he does. Oh, there he goes. That's what I was worried about, though, is him blowing that breath at me. There we go. Get in here, buddy. Oh, man. Dude, he was so close. He used to be able to freeze him with the snow owl. I don't think that works anymore, though. Oh, he's going the wrong way. Dude, I'll tell you what. Where's my cat? We're going to abandon this trap. And just run after him. Oh, dude, he's way over there. See, that's the only thing, though. Is he's, we need to get him to fly into here. Hey, you coming, man? Pay attention, dude. But we need to get him to go into the, the walls, not outside of it. See, there's a problem. Where to even go to now? There he is, defenders messing with him. Don't worry, buddy, I got you. Oh, 
Oh man, I didn't mean to hit you. Oh, don't go that way. <laughs> it's like a big fluffy ball just flying, man. Yeah, go back that way. There you go. Well, not really, but is what it is, I guess, right? Now we got Pterodon on us. Ah, oh, get on us, not him, dude. There we go. Man, I gotta try not to hit him. I don't know how much health they have off the start. But yeah, man, they're like little, little Quetzals of extinction. They hold a lot of weight, and you get to, well, fly around on them. Ooh, I wonder if he's running because he's almost knocked out. We've got quite... Yeah! There we go. Oh, I thought he was down. I said we've got quite a few darts into him. And he's not... Not taking any... Oh, there he goes. Oh, don't go this way, dude. There we go. Kind of push him that way a little bit. If we can get him to go just a little bit further to the left, he'll go back into walls. Don't worry, I got this defender, man. I'll intercept him. I charge extra for protection, I'm just saying. Oh man, we're never getting over to where there's wrecks and stuff. Yeah, he is a little bloody. Things are almost impossible to hit when they're flying, too, though. Hey, what, man? He's taking quite a few darts. Oh, don't, don't come at me, man. Is he stuck? Go that way. There we go. Man, I hope when they take in that breath, it doesn't affect their ability to take Torpor or something. Dude, that would suck. It's alright, we'll get him kind of over in this corner so he keep, keeps just bouncing on the wall. Dude, if he lands up there, <laughs> that's gonna suck so bad. Oh, I nailed him. Surprising. Oh, nice, he's out. Dude, he's kind of in a good spot, too. Let's double check around here real quick. Clear out some trees so we can see if anything's coming. Uh, there's an element vein starting around here somewhere. Probably over there. We probably just can't see it. Well, let's take a look. See what we have here. Yeah, about half health. Not too bad, though. Let's see the torpor. Torpor looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and throw some of those in there. I wonder how much he's going to get per bite. That's the thing. I don't want to have to sit out here too long, man, because like I said, those Corrupted keep spawning everywhere. They got a couple more of these trees. Dillodes are kind of what I'm worried about here. Take a bite, buddy. Let's see how much you're going to get out of it. We'll throw 10 of these in there just in case. Eh, he's probably going to take a while to eat a piece. All right, we're going to sit here and let him team up. I'm going to keep watch. Hopefully, nothing comes by and hits him. I'm just kind of worried about the defenders and the Dillos. That's the main, main thing. Well, the Pterodons, too. All corrupted. Let's just go ahead and narrow it down to all corrupted creatures. <laughs> all right, well, we'll see you back here in a few. And there we go. We got ourselves a gas bag. Almost said I got you. All right, man, let's take a look. Take these back. I didn't need, need to use any of the narc, which is kind of nice. So it came out to be a 224. It is a female. 5,000 on the health. Stamina is 2,700. Weight is almost 5,000, which is pretty good. That's what we'll be putting a lot of stats into. Damage is 363, and movement speed is 100. Let's go ahead. Take stuff out of here. All those enforcers I ended up killing. Drop all this into him. Put him back in the cryopod. Take this thing for a spin, man. It's been a long time since I've been on one. Hopefully I don't kill it on the first flight because you can actually kill them by falling too far. 
All right, buddy. Yeah, it was pretty quiet during, during the team. Nothing came over. I was kind of, kind of surprised. All right, so let's see what we got. So we got a normal pipe. And then hold down left click and he sucks in air. So you can see our little gas meter down there. How do you, how do you release the air? Okay, like that. So I should blow stuff away, right? Now, does that take stamina? It does. Let's go over here and, and mess with this little dillo real quick. Hopefully stay away from that enforcer. Yeah, I know, buddy. So he does 18 whole damage while he's puffed up. How do we... There we go. That blows him a little ways away. Dude, he does nothing for damage. 18? Maybe that's because we had so much air in us? No, man. <laughs> that's just all that he does. He's not a fighter, man, at all. Holy crap. I'm gonna have to get off and... Take out this guy with the shotgun, I think. Alright, let's blow him away, and then we'll try to go on a little flight. There you go, man. Ain't got time for you. Alright, so we suck in air, and then space bar should allow us to take off. There we go. So you can kind of pulse it and keep your altitude. Oh, move, moving forward uh, takes away from your air, though, too. Let's get up here, and we'll take another breath. So yeah, you can go too high, and you cannot take in any air while you're floating. Thing is, he dropped too hard, man. It will kill you just like anything else if you drop from a high distance. You know, if you walk off a cliff with a Rex. So you gotta kinda, oh! Kinda pad your fall a little bit. So it looks like we're gonna be putting mainly stats into stamina. That goes up quite a bit, what, like 270 per, per click? That is a crazy looking enforcer there. Dude, look at those colors, man. <laughs> That's kind of not normal. It's it's pretty nice though, man. If you get like a your stamina up real high. So I wonder what affects the gas. I wonder if it's your stamina. So it was 337 the first time. Let's see if it went up any. Nope, that's just how much he holds. Hmm. Maybe oxygen? Have to put some into the oxygen stat? That's kind of weird. I've never put oxygen uh, points into anything. But dude, he does go a long ways though, especially if you're uh, staying kind of towards the ground. I mean, we're already almost back at base. Oh, he's got a saddle on the back too, so I guess he can take a rider along? All right, so there's, let's put one point into oxygen. And that does, so you need to put a lot of points into oxygen. Stamina probably not so much, right? Because that's just for sucking in the air. So he's gonna be a weight and oxygen stat team. That's pretty awesome though, man. Hope you like the, uh, the little team today. We're gonna have a lot of fun with him, man, especially when we go do resource harvesting. Gonna go ahead and leave this one here. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.